meanders. The course of a river comprises of three distinct parts. First is the upper or the mountain course where the river originates. Here, the velocity of the water is faster due to the steep gradient. The floor of the valley is narrow and the valleys are V-shaped. Second is the middle or the valley course where floors are wider and the sides of the valley are more gently sloping. Here, the velocity of the river is slower than the upper stage. Meanders are typical landforms found in this stage of the river. The third part of the river is the lower course which has a gentle slope and is almost flat. The river channel is usually at its widest and deepest here because the amount of water flowing within the river is at its greatest. Oxbow lakes are conspicuous features in the lower course of a river apart from the deltas where the river drains into seas. Now, we will discuss about what are meanders and how are they formed. Meanders are formed in the middle course of a river. The rivers flow through almost a flat plain in the middle courses. As water flowing under gravity seldom flows straight for any long distance, a winding course soon develops. The irregularities of the ground force the river to swing in great S-shaped curves forming horseshoe-like loops called meanders. Now let us see how a meander forms. The water in a river channel flows faster round the outside bend of a river due to centrifugal force whereas it is relatively slow on the inside bends. The fast flowing water on the outside bend erodes the river bank whereas slow moving water deposits sand and mud on the inside bend. At the site of erosion on the outside bend, a steep river cliff is created. The water piles up on the outside bend due to centrifugal force. A bottom current is set up in a corkscrew motion which deposits the eroded material on the inner bank forming a slip-off slope. In the lower course of a river, a meander becomes very much pronounced. The outside bend gets eroded rapidly and the meander loop becomes almost a complete circle. Gradually, the narrow necks of the loop erode further and intersect each other. Now, the river cuts through the intersection to flow in a straight path. As a result, the meander loop is abandoned and it forms an oxbow lake. The oxbow lake later turns into a swamp and subsequent floods may silt up the lake. It becomes marshy and eventually dries up. Brought to you by Compete India's Jito Bharat, a one-stop internet-based interactive coaching for civil services exams. For more information, log on to www.jitobharat.com.